Well, the next hurdle for Obamacare, tax time, when a new rule for health care signups will kick in. And if you got a subsidy to help you pay for your new mandatory health care, watch out for something you may not have seen before. It involves telling the IRS about changes in your personal life, like a divorce, job promotion, or a new job for you or your spouse. And for many Americans, this will be the first time they've ever had to do this sort of thing, and they may actually owe the government money because of it. Michael Warren, staff writer with the Weekly Standard, is here to break it down. So, Michael, who gets hit by this new rule? Well, it's, as you mentioned, anybody who uh, gets a subsidy because they're 400% uh, above the poverty line uh, or, or lower uh, and who has some sort of uh, event in their life, like getting a job promotion or getting married, uh, and, and, uh, and, and happens to have a less subsidy uh, after the fact, uh, if they let the IRS know, then, then, then the IRS will be aware of that and they'll be able to get the correct subsidy. But if not, they may be getting a bigger bill at the end of the year. So these were already people who needed a little help. Did the Obama administration make this clear that the subsidies would come with a so-called catch? Well, from the reports that we've seen, you wouldn't really know about it unless you went to the IRS website and were looking for that information. So it's really just another example of one of these uh, provisions of the law that we had to implement to find out that it, w that it was in it. And how much money are we talking about potentially for people having to pay the IRS? I mean, it could be a, 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 a couple hundred dollars, maybe even a couple thousand dollars. It all depends wow. on change. But it's, it's, it's money that, uh, that people might have expected to be getting as a return that they may not get as a return. So they really need to follow up with the IRS about this. All right. So they may not have to cut a check, but they thought they had it coming in the form of a, of a rebate or a refund, a credit, and it just may not be coming. And if you budgeted for that, that is startling. New topic with you right now before I let you go, Michael. President Obama is getting briefed today, we understand while he's on vacation in Hawaii on how things are going with his signature health care law. This is the kind of thing you might have expected in October when the giant federal website went online. How does this kind of extra involvement at this point make a difference? You know, it's hard to say. A lot of the wheels are moving here. You know, we're hearing a lot more about those enrollment numbers that, that look up. But let's let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's wait to see how many of those people actually sign up and pay for pay their premiums for those health insurance plans. I think the administration might be getting a little ahead of itself. But I suppose it's encouraging to know that the president is getting involved in this signature domestic uh, achievement of his. Uh, uh, but I don't know how much it can do uh, to undo a lot of the damage that you, you just heard the conversation. Congressman Tom Price mentioned with people not being able to see their doctors uh, now uh, may, may be getting lower tax refunds or not tax refunds at all, bigger tax bills than they thought. So I don't really know at this point what the president can do uh, from the top uh, mm. other than, I guess, uh, make big you know, legislative changes. Right. Exactly. It's all about optics. Michael Warren, thank you very much. Libya is releasing four members of the military who we know were detained last night at a checkpoint north of Tripoli. Pentagon officials are saying the four were likely special operations forces who were investigating potential evacuation routes for diplomats.